What's up guys? So I'm out here in the shop working on, uh, I think I've got a possible head gasket leak and before I dove off and swapped out the head gasket on this thing, kind of the best place to start is the coolant system. So I thought what I would do is pressurize the coolant system and see if I find any external leaks. Uh, you can rent a tool at like AutoZone or uh, any of the car parts stores, um, but sometimes the fitting that goes on your radiator cap doesn't fit so well. So what I did, I was trying to figure out a way that I could just pressurize the system without worrying about all that. Um, and I dug around. I've got this. There's no telling what this bushing rubber mount is for, but it happens to just fit just about perfectly down in my radiator cap uh, spot, inlet, whatever. And uh, what I did was um, I set my pressure on my regulator, on my air compressor. I've got a little redneck rig here and I've got the pressure you can see there what is that it's bleeding down but so we're at about 12 pounds now but uh, if I can seal that off it comes back up to about 15 pounds about 15 there but anyway what I'm gonna do is that that'll keep me from over pressurizing my system it's only 15 pounds I'm going to see if I can get enough pressure in here to maybe make it leak. If there's a leak, maybe it'll show itself. Um, but I really, I think it's that head gasket, unfortunately. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put this down in here, and I'm going to push, and I'm going to add some pressure. And you can, oh, come on. You can see the radiator hoses have expanded. So it is holding pressure. It's leaking around this cap here, though. But I do actually, oh man, it's a good thing, but it's not a good thing. I've got liquid, I got water here. I filled the radio up with water, but I've got a pretty good steady stream of water right there. And that's only putting out 12 pounds of pressure. So I know that if I had more pressure, it would blow out obviously more. I'm gonna blade this off. So it doesn't squirt me in the face. But it looks like I found maybe the leak. So if you're in a pinch, or if you're just cheap, and you don't want to spend a lot of money, the moral of the story is get you a rubber, rubber nipple and a, a rubber cap, put it in there, and you can pressurize your system and find external leaks if you've got one. And apparently I do.